I made this tiny mouse a while back, and you guys really loved it. Now I'm thinking we can make this a lot smaller, because this boy is thick. And as much as I love how the mouse looks something straight out of a Lego set, it feels out of place with the rest of the tiny setup. Like, our tiny keyboard looks way smaller than this mouse, relatively speaking. So in this video, we're going to make the world's smallest mouse again, where this time, we'll make a custom circuit board and 3D print a much smaller body using this A1 printer. We'll also design the new mouse to look more like a gaming mouse. And most importantly, we're gonna add Add LEDs because everyone knows you game better with RGBs. At this part of the video, I'd normally go on my computer to do some research on finding the smallest competing mouse. But not this time, because our mouse is the world's smallest one, to the best of my knowledge. So we need to make an even smaller one than this, and somehow fit additional circuit for RGB lighting. That means we need to include a microcontroller, which is the brain of the system, along with a bunch of RGB LEDs, and an LED driver to power these LEDs. But not only that, we still have to fit the original circuitry of the mouse, which includes the mouse sensor, as well as the left and right click buttons. And of course, our our new mouse has to be way smaller than this one. I can already tell this is going to be a tough project. It's no small feat. Same as last time, we'll need a sacrifice to start building our mouse. Quick recap for those of you just joining us, and letting you know this isn't part of some satanic ritual. In our last video, we bought a really cheap mouse from Amazon, and used its internal circuit components to build this tiny mouse. Well, we're going to do the same thing again, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But there's a problem. Inflation. Last time, the mouse from Amazon only costed 7 bucks. Due to inflation, the price doubled. Can you believe this shit? 14 bucks for this crappy mouse? Well, looks like Loki won't be getting his second breakfast for the next few weeks. Three days later. Alright, the cheap mouse finally arrived. It's time for unboxing. Taking a look inside, we can see that it's a pretty basic mouse. Now we really don't need these left and right switches, since I'll be using these smaller ones that I saved from last time. When I built the world's lightest mouse from my previous video, this thing is wireless and it only weighs 14.69 grams. Check out my previous video. Also, we won't be needing a scroll wheel for this mouse, so... Now all that we're left with is the mouse sensor, and since we're gonna make a custom circuit board for our new mouse, we can take it off from this PCB. Oh, sweet. The box says it comes with one year warranty. I wonder if it still applies. Bruh. Now that we've successfully sacrificed the mouse and got the sensor, it's time to get started on the real work, designing the body and the circuit board. For the body, I'm thinking we can 3D print it using my new Bamboo Lab printer. But hold that thought because we'll come back to that later. First, we'll tackle the circuit board, and our goal is to make it as small as possible. Then, we'll design the body around it afterwards. To minimize the area, I designed the circuit boards in two levels, the base and the top. This way, we can stack more components in a smaller size, with the trade-off of being a slightly bigger height. Now starting off with the base, we have the left and right switches along with the mouse sensor, as well as connections for the USB cable, so pretty much the same circuit as our original tiny mouse. What's more interesting is the top level circuit board, where we have the microcontroller which will send digital signals to the LED driver. The LED driver will then light up the LEDs with different patterns like our tiny keyboard. Nice. Now these two circuit boards are connected using metal pads and some really thin wires. Wow, these wires are so thin, just like how my patients will be after trying to solder all these tiny components. Alright, time to get the circuit boards made. Now you guys already know what I'm going to say. Our circuit boards were manufactured by PCBWay, who's also the sponsor of this video. They always do a fantastic job, which includes my past circuit projects and our new tiny mouse PCB. So if you need fast and great quality services for your next engineering projects, check out PCBWay. Alright, we have our custom circuit boards for our tiny mouse. Let's get soldering! So I have the base completed, which means we can test the left and right clicks. I soldered this USB cable so that we can test them. And it works! Left click, right click. So I can't move the mouse cursor yet until we put on the second PCB with the LED. A few moments later. I soldered the top circuit board with the LEDs and the LED driver. You can see the base and top circuit boards are connected with these thin wires. And you'll notice that the microcontroller is missing. Huh? More on that later. Doing a quick test with the transparent lens, we're able to move the mouse cursor. So all the mouse functionalities are working. But the lens is way too big and doesn't fit properly with the base PCB. Let's fix that.
All right, looking pretty good. With the electronics part completed, we can finally move on to designing the body. So the body design will have two holes for these tiny long screws. The idea is to get these screws to sandwich the bottom and top body parts with the two circuit boards in between. This is the bottom body design where it has a base to put the lens in position along with the two screw holes. This is the top body design where its only purpose is to cover the top circuit board and has the two screw holes as well. After designing everything, I go to my bamboo studio and had them 3D printed. And after screwing everything together, it fits. And of course, we can't forget about the left and right clicks. And I've also added dotted skates for smoother movement. Comparing our new mouse with the old one, it is smaller, but not as much as I'd like it to be. And I did try to make the new body look more like a gaming mouse with rounded edges, but wasn't able to achieve the look that I really wanted. I guess it looks okay. What the hell is even that? All right, time to check its gaming performance. Starting off with Marvel Rivals, I didn't see any major issues aiming with their new mouse, and the lack of scroll wheel wasn't a problem, since I rarely use it for this game. Left and right clicks worked without issues, and using these blue switches from my previous project was definitely an upgrade, where these new switches are a lot easier to click with very little force. By the way, I've been grinding to get to Grandmaster, but been stuck in diamonds since middle of the season. Oh my god, someone please carry me to Grandmaster. Now moving on to Helldivers 2, I also didn't see anything wrong other than gripping the tiny mouse. Holding this thing is actually very uncomfortable, and I don't think I can use this for more than 30 minutes. But overall, I was able to play decently with our tiny mouse. Now we can't forget about our tiny gaming setup. It works just as well compared to previous testing, and I guess it looks better than our old tiny mouse? Honestly, I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the new look. Now I received this A1 printer from Bamboo Lab to use for this project, and I've got some thoughts to share. Just to be clear, my only requirement was to highlight its specs and use it for this project, so all my opinions are my own and I'll say this up front. I am not a 3D printer expert. That said, for beginners like me who just want to start printing projects, I'd highly recommend this A1 printer and here's why. First, there's an automated calibration and auto bed leveling system that makes printing so much easier. Just to give you some reference, this is my old 3D printer where I had to manually ensure that the bed was leveled and this had to be done periodically and it was never consistent. Second, as you can see, it supports multiple colors which opens up so many creative possibilities. Third, the printer monitoring system is top notch and even comes with an app to remotely monitor your prints. Now, it's not all perfect. Let's talk about the downsides. For one, it creates a fair bit of plastic waste and the waste gets even bigger if you use the multicolor feature. I understand why the printer needs to extrude additional unused plastic, but I do hope future versions can reduce this waste somehow. Another point worth mentioning is the price. The A1 printer is pricier than competing FDM printers with similar build volume, but it is justified with all the automated and monitoring features that you're getting with the A1 printer. I'll leave a link to buy the A1 printer, which will include the full specs, if you're interested. So with that out of the way, I do have some final remarks about this project. You may remember that we added some circuit for the RGB lighting system. Well, I screwed up, big time. The first mistake was putting the wrong size crystal for the microcontroller, and I wasn't able to correct this issue in time for the video. Second, I forgot that I was using the microcontroller with the USB connection, and not the one with the UART serial communication. With these two issues, I was unable to get the microcontroller running and debugging properly. Totally my fault, and it's something I'll resolve for the next version. But even without the RGB LEDs, I'm happy the rest of the circuit boards worked with the new two-level design. I'll be keeping this structure for future Tiny Mice projects because it does help reduce the overall area quite a bit. Also, I'm happy to report that our new mouse is now the world's lightest mouse. Our previous one weighed just under 10 grams, and our new one weighs close to 8 grams. But unfortunately, it is wired and not wireless, which isn't great. But that's why I made this wireless mouse, which only weighs 14.69 grams. Check out my previous video for this wireless mouse. Alright, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. See you next time!